Hi, and welcome to another help video for the Share Trade Tracker. In this video, we're going to step through the use of the dashboard and how you can use it to assess the performance of your portfolio. Right, when you open up the Share Trade Tracker, you're first presented with the My Portfolio Transactions worksheet. To access the dashboard, you click on the tab down the bottom, Portfolio Dashboard. And this includes a number of charts that give a quick assessment of your portfolio's performance and a bit of a history on how it's going in comparison. Now, in the first chart here that I'm highlighting, the return on open positions by purchase month. This basically lists each of your open positions, when they were purchased and what the current return is for each of those shares, or the combined shares if you purchased a few in a month. The second chart here is the return on the closed positions by the, by the month you sold them. Again, it's a, it's a combination of all the shares that you've purchased or sold, in, sorry, in this case, sold in that month. Now moving on down, we've got two more charts here. One is the open position percentage gain and loss over time. So here, in this case, you can see this portfolio started back on the 30th of October 2010, started out quite well, and as we've proceeded through our time, the returns have reduced for the open positions. And similarly for the closed positions, percentage gain and loss, here we can see that the portfolio started out pretty poorly, 15% losses, 5% losses, and now it's, now it's starting to be a positive return, but still not great, just above 5%. Now the two charts at the bottom are the sold and open gain loss compared to the index. Now you have an index that you've been tracking, which is included in the reference worksheet. We saw that in an earlier video. In this case, it's the All Ordinaries Index that we're tracking. That's an important value for the use in this dashboard, because each day that you update the share prices, that index value is updated. Now in this chart, we can see the yellow area is the return of your portfolio and the blue area is the comparable index. And here you can see we're outperforming the index for our portfolio in this case. This, this particular chart has been set up to do it uh, on a weekly basis. You can change it if you're experienced in using pivot, pivot charts to daily or monthly, depending on how long your portfolio is tracking. But at the moment it's set up for weekly. And over here we have the sold and open positions with a five day moving average. So basically the red line gives you the average of, five, of, the, of, the, of the last five days for the sold and open return positions. And as you can see, st slowly but surely, this portfolio is starting to go downwards in its return uh, averages. So these are the charts that come with the Share Trade Tracker and they're updated automatically when you click on the Update Share Prices button up here in the My Portfolio Transactions Worksheet. Now you can extend this and develop your own uh, charts and, and other reports simply by referring to the areas of data in the My Portfolio Transactions Worksheet and also in the Portfolio History that is used to create these charts. And if you're an experienced Excel user, you'll be able to see these when you click on the various pivot charts. Okay, if you need more information on using the dashboard, again, in the help, we have this listed uh, for your reference in the future. Just talking about what each of the charts mean and also if you need help on any of these charts or extending it, you can contact our support team uh, for more information and assistance on basically extending the use of the existing data within your Share Trade Tracker product. Okay, well thanks for listening. 